Imagine being able to make a watertight connection using copper pipes without ever having to solder. Well, you can if you use this. This is the ProPress tool and it's part of the ProPress system, but it's got just one problem. And last year I made a video that's now gotten over 10 million views where I said you'd never have to solder again if you use this system. And that angered a lot of people because inside of these fittings is the Achilles heel. They've each got an O-ring inside and the belief is that over time they would never last as long as solder. And then last week I heard something that I couldn't believe. They said the ProPress fittings don't even need the O-rings to make the watertight connection. It's actually the metal to metal compression that creates the seal and that O-ring is only there to catch anything that might weep or drip out. Now I figured there was no way that claim could be true so I wanted to put it to the test. Here I've got a half inch coupling. This one is made by Viega and as you can see it's got two O-rings installed on both ends. I'm going to use this pick and carefully remove both of them and now I'll just be left with the metal fitting. I'm also going to mark the fitting with this little smiley face. In case you internet sleuths think that I'm faking this test, at least you can freeze frame it and you'll be sure that it's the same fitting. Here I've got my plumbing simulator. I'm going to connect my garden hose to the system and it's equipped with a gauge so you can see that I'm getting about 50 to 60 psi and that's going to be your average household water pressure. Now compressing this fitting on the end of the pipe is easy, but that's not going to really be a pressure test. So I need to put it in the middle, attach another piece of pipe with a shutoff valve. This will allow me to make sure that that pipe is completely filled with water. If you had air in the pipe alone, that might not really be an accurate test. I also hung a piece of cardboard in the middle to detect any leaks from the joint at all. Now this is the first time that I've ever conducted this test. I never did any trials off camera. So I'm going to switch to the live audio so you can hear my reaction and see the results. Now we know that the whole pipe is filled with water and pressurized. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Now keep in mind a leak free connection is not a big deal, but there are no O-rings inside that ProPress fitting. There is not a drip. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Now I'm not going to shut off the water supply, I'm going to leave it exactly as pressurized. So right now I'm at about 58 PSI. You could recreate this test, I didn't do anything special here. I took the O-rings out, crimped the fitting, and there are no leaks. Now you can't really move these anyway, they're so tight when they're crimped. But Now this would never work with a shark bite because shark bites don't have any ability to compress the fittings. They are truly sealing just with the O-ring. So I ran the test for 20 minutes. My timer hit the ground, I reset it. Try to bang this up a bit and see if it'll leak. Maybe simulating what would happen inside your wall. <laughs> that is unbelievable. <laughs> well, at least you guys know the timer really did fall. This is absolutely insane. I've never seen a fitting I don't even really know how to explain it, but whatever they're doing with that press, it works. If you've ever hated Pro Press because of those O-rings, I don't think I would hate it much anymore because I don't think the O-rings are really doing much. They must just be there in case you were to have a small weep in the copper or maybe there was an imperfection in the copper that let out a little bit of water. <laughs> oh. I do see a tiny yeah, now we're getting a little bit of a leak. So I guess if you were to take a wrench and beat on the fitting with no O-rings, you'll get a couple of drops of water. What if it's drops of water? That is unbelievable. Well, there you go. So if you're gonna use ProPress, don't run it over with a car and pull your O-rings out and you, you may get a small leak. I mean, unreal. ProPress is a great system but it's really expensive and unless you're remodeling a house or you do a lot of plumbing, it's going to be too expensive for most DIYers. But watch my other video for some other alternatives including a manual version of that tool that's significantly cheaper. But the point of this video was to put that claim to the test and has ProPress been lying to us this whole time or did they just exclude the fact that the compression itself is what's creating the seal and the o-ring is just kind of a secondary backup.